Hello everyone, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I need to adjust the levels slightly so I'm not distorting the mic. Okay, we're good. I know you never see me wearing a hat, but I got a great explanation why. My hair looks awful, so you're going to have to deal with this cheap-ass Luigi hat that I got from Best Buy uh, in 2013 when we, uh, when, uh, they were doing, like, demos for Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Remember those days? They were just giving these away because they, they called 2013 the year of Luigi. Remember those days? Anyways, so yeah, it's a cheap out old styrofoam hat because I don't really like to wear hats. But in this case, I think I owe you the uh, my uh, trying to reserve my dignity as much as I can by putting this hat on. Uh, anyways, here we go. And I'm going through allergies, so this video is just a quick update. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but an update video nonetheless. Alright. For those who don't know, I live in Houston. Which means I live in Texas. Which means... I was severely affected by the winter storm the past week. It has been the absolute, one of the worst experiences of my life. And I know so many people that live on the East Coast are pointing and laughing, saying, <laughs> your, your disaster storm weather is what we go through every fucking December. Uh, well, well, yeah, okay, but here, let me just... I know where those people are coming from, okay? And I understand how much of a fucking pussy I am for, uh... How much of a pussy I am for, for uh... You know, not being used to this cold like you people on the East Coast are, even though I wish I could live on the East Coast. Seems way more fucking exciting than whatever is going on in Houston. Anyway, that's a whole other video. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is... On Sunday, uh, I don't even know, remember the, what day it was, because see, I'm trying to repress those memories I had, uh, but it was so awful, man. Sunday, I lost power for 33 hours. So from last Sunday at like 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. on Monday, there was no power. And then I lost power again. The power would just keep going on and off every few hours. It would stay on one hour, go off one hour, stay on two hours, go off three hours. And Thursday was the first day that everything appeared to be stable again. And sorry for the sniffling, but going through allergy attacks, I just blew my nose for 30 minutes straight nonstop. So you'll have to forgive me. Uh, so what happened was... Uh, the worst part came at around Monday or Tuesday last week. The uh, My kitchen started flooding, and I don't know what I did on this earth to get this lucky, but my neighbor has been helping me a lot throughout all this, and uh, he just saw that there was a plumber working on my other neighbor's house, stopped him, came over here, told him, hey, I need this guy needs help, told him about the kitchen, because uh, my kitchen was flooding. Like, there is was a leak in the wall where the sink was. And, you know, like... Because I went through Hurricane Ike. Yeah, Ike in 2008. Where we lost power for, like, two weeks. And then... I went through... Uh, a hurricane in 27... Wait, was that Hurricane Harvey? In 2017? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was lucky during Hurricane Harvey. Like, nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. I had power, internet, water the whole time. But, let me tell you. A winter storm for the first time in Texas history, being able to go through that is something I hope I never have to go through ever again. Because I don't know how you people on, on the East Coast, people in, you know, in the Midwest, you know, like Colorado. Is Colorado considered the Midwest? I, I don't really know, but 
like Colorado and uh, what's the other one? Colorado, Chicago, Boston, New York, all those places, Philadelphia, all those places. I don't, Pittsburgh, like, I don't know how the hell you, you guys living over there handle snow. Because it just proved how much of a little bitch I am that 12 degree weather, like, but here's the problem, though. Like, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you might know that I haven't had power. I mean, sorry, I haven't had gas because all the heating in my home is is used from gas, natural gas. So, and I was stupid and didn't pay it for several months, just like why I lost my my previous, previous car. Uh, and uh, they turned it off, and it's been off for since, like, October of last year and so going through it no power no heat whatsoever that was the absolute fucking worst like I was shivering like I had to wear like four layers and a jacket and a sweater and four blankets and it's like it didn't it's like didn't do shit like it was so fucking cold inside here last week when I, like, whenever I talked, I could see my breath or the condensation from the cold. Uh, that's how cold it was. And also, you know, it's just like that scene from the first Exorcist movie when they make the bedroom that cold, trying to get the demon out of uh, Linda Blair, remember? If you ever saw Exorcist from 73, where they made the room that cold, it was just like that. It was awful. It was absolutely awful. And, uh, and now, and so, oh, also, sorry, I'm, see, the thing is, I'm getting so sidetracked, I can't, it's hard to remember all the details, because it was such a, it truly was a fucking traumatic roller coaster of, a, of an, ex, of emotions, because there were tons of very low lows combined with very high highs, because, you know, I know that there's several other people suffering way worse than me, but, you know, I feel like I have the right to complain because I went through so much awful shit with that kitchen getting flooded. I thought it would never get fixed. I thought this is just my life now. I can never. Ha I was forced to turn the water off so that the flooding wouldn't transfer to any other parts of the house. So I just got so scared, you know. Uh, so what I did was I... Uh, I just uh, handled it the way I could, and a plumber did come and fix it just less than 24 hours later, which I don't know what I what I did on this earth to deserve that much kindness, but the he, he came, fixed it up. Only problem is I couldn't pay him, uh, but, you know, I had $73 in my bank account. And I paid him $70, and I said, whenever I get my tax refund, I'll pay you the rest, because he was only, because, you know, he was didn't work for a company, it was just a guy and his son, and he just, and, you know, he was ch charging 200 bucks, and it's, it was, it was bad, it was bad, but, because I was so scared, I thought maybe this guy would get pissed off, and he would undo the fixing of the leak, uh, but I don't know by some miracle, you know, it's so funny, that's a thing, you know, as a person living with major depressive disorder, when you go through bad, going through bad moments, you think that this is how, this is going to be how you're feeling the rest of your life, and then whenever things do return to neutral or go back to normal, it's like, it feels like a miracle occurred. Like, it felt like you were never going to feel like this the way I feel right now ever again. I mean, look at me. Look at this. Look, look. I'm wearing a single layer again for the first time. And, I, and you know, and it's so funny how, you, you know, when you have electricity, when you have electricity in your home, electricity and internet and cell phone service, it really shows you just how tougher people were back in, you know, the 1800s, because, you know, it's just so much shit in life you take for granted, and then the second it's taken away from you, you realize just how fucking powerless and helpless you are without any of that shit. 
So, you know, it's it's been a giant learning experience, and and uh, I'm just looking at the preview in in uh, OBS. It's uh, I I don't know if anyone's gonna take this video seriously with this fucking Luigi hat. I don't even know. I've got other hats. I don't even know why I picked the little Luigi hat because I thought you know I got I have to bring some some kind of light humor to it because it it just looks funny. Ugh. But anyways. Well, that's all I got to say. Uh, I'll also, uh, yeah, in an update as far as my vi videos go, so I my power and internet appear to be stable. Keyword being appear to be stable. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I'm back, you know. Uh, can't promise that I'll be making videos regularly, but, you know. I'm, but I'm glad to say that my internet and power and electricity is now stable enough to the point where I have the confidence to, uh, or now I have the ability to upload videos again. That's all I can say. And, uh, so also, uh, last video I did a lot before I made my giant emotional rant right as my kitchen started flooding, it was the video I did, uh, reacting to uh, the first track from Haley Williams's uh, Flowers for Vases album and I will do more I want to get back into music reactions of course I do because I feel like I have to do it because that is how I got that is what do it reacting to music is what got me finally up past the 1000 subscriber mark I'm so grateful for that um so I'm going to continue those, uh, but, you know, I'm just scared. It's kind of scary to do those because uh, it's scary to do music reactions because if you're not famous and you don't have you're not don't have over 100,000 subscribers, it's like you it's like you're a prime target for the YouTube algorithm for any music reaction I do it gets blocked worldwide immediately, and it's so fucking anger-inducing. I know I've taught, made several videos about this in the past, and funnily enough, my, uh, the video I did ranting about my Dave Chappelle reaction getting blocked, all of a sudden it was just nothing but a bunch of hate comments. And it's so weird, because if anyone else that, you know, is ha that's famous... Uh, makes a video complaining about YouTube, they get nothing but support. But uh, all of a sudden, whenever I do, I get nothing but hate. I don't understand it. But here's my promise to those of you that, continue, that you know, have been watching my videos for a while. I will continue to make those music reactions and do any other videos I want to do. I, I want to make a commitment to creating videos because that's the whole reason why I'm not... Why, I, why, you know, I don't think I'm anywhere near as big on YouTube as I could have been is probably because I'm not never consistent. Because, like, just like playing guitar, I, I'll stop playing guitar for several months because sometimes my depression gets the best of me and I just have to keep fighting it. Like, I have to keep making videos even when I don't feel like making them. And that, that's all about, you know, self-discipline and all that stuff. So anyways, thank you so much for uh, holding on. And by the way, I'll, I'll just uh, thank you so much for watching my watching this video, if you even made it all the way through without me somehow pissing you off and clicking away at the end. Um, <coughs> I guess I'll just end this video by saying... I cannot grow a mustache nearly as great as Luigi.